Uh, Texas University clears DEI office, lays off employees in light of new state law. So clears DEI office. Why would they do that? The University of Texas at Austin terminated dozens of employees in their diversity, equity, inclusion programs to adhere uh, to adhere to new Texas law, resulting in the dissolution of division of campus and community engagement with 60 related positions eliminated. University President Jay Hartzell underscored the compliance efforts with the new law, SB 17, emphasizing it is also important that this continues to be a welcome and supportive community for all, while ensuring student-facing roles uh, remain for the semester, uh, semester and offering affected employees opportunities to apply for other positions. Tom. Well, first of all, DEI dies again, and... I hope it just keeps dying. So this is basically, remember, what is going on here? Well, there is a bill, and Texas did a bill, SB 17, and Texas said as long as those universities are funded by us, and which is paid for by the taxpayers, we are making laws and rules of how things work around here, damn it. And SB 17 says DEI programs out. And what was interesting, the senator who was responsible for this, he said, he said, listen, you know what? Higher education is supposed to be, brace for impact, folks, a merit-based environment. Merit, who scored more in a game? That's merit. There are no, (laughs) merit, what grade did you get on the test? Merit, you know, merit. You know, how good are you so you can get an athletic scholarship or an academic scholarship? Merit. And we are going to address SB 17 things that were not merit-based, where we were forcing it. So thank you very much, University President Jay Hartzell, for cooperating and doing what the Texas legislators said with SB 17 and not pushing back on it. There's a lot of... uh, University people out there, Pat, even though they work for the people at state universities, they're pushing back on things like this. And hats off to the Texas and Austin cooperating with the state, with the people's money and saying DEI goes away. We're going to push more merit based things back. And guess what? That's a victory for common sense. And it's another nail in the coffin for DEI as it should be. Yeah. And just to kind of echo what you were saying yesterday, when you nailed Isaac Newton's theory uh, when you said for every action is an equal opposite reaction, this is exactly what's going on here. Like when you talk, I interrupt. Exactly. Exactly. It's going to happen. Um, this is DEI, as we all know. It sounds great in theory. When you bring it up, diversity, equity, inclusion, it's great. We've talked about this a hundred times, but not in practice. You know, what do they say? The, the road to hell is paved in good intentions. For every... What was that? Nothing. Excuse um, me. Sounded like D. You good, Tom? Yeah. Um, this just comes down to equilibrium. Uh, there was such a push for DEI and ESG, and then people were like, yes, yes, let's do it. Let's implement it. Let's go on. Let's get the bureaucracy. Let's go on. And then people were like, what the hell's going on here? Because DEI just basically means anti-straight white men, which is the majority of the country. I hate Sorry. to break it to you. So there's a lot of um, people that push back, and now the government uh, universities are implementing this. We saw that uh, University of Florida, shout out to the president, Ben Sass, who used to be a senator from Sass. Nebraska. He, he's a pretty sassy dude. Sass. He uh, canceled that. So this is simply just a, a reversion back to meritocracy, which capitalism is the foundation of. What were the four words you said, Pat? Bad policies, policies. have consequences. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And mm-hmm. it's nothing working. These people, now they're starting to back off because they know that all that crap is, is BS. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.